Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So I have x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2. Now what I'm first going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by x to the power of x. So now I have x to the power of x divided by x to the power of x is equal to x squared divided by x to the power of x. Now x to the power of x and x to the power of x, these two cancel out. So now I have 1 is equal to x squared divided by x to the power of x. Now, if we have something in the form a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n, then this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. And we are going to use this property for x to the power of 2 divided by x to the power of x. So this would be equal to... We can think of 2 as m and x as n, so this would be x to the power of 2 minus x. Now, I'm going to ln both sides. So now I have ln of 1 is equal to ln of x to the power of 2 minus x. Now, an important property of logarithms is that, let's say we have ln of a to the power of b. Then we can actually move this exponent b to the front of the logarithm. So this would be equal to b times ln a. So that's exactly what I'm going to do with ln x to the power of 2 minus x. I'm going to move the exponent 2 minus x to the front of the logarithm. So now we have, well, first off, ln of 1 is 0. So we have 0 is equal to 2 minus x times ln x. Now this gives us two equations. We have 2 minus x is equal to 0. And we also have ln x is equal to 0. Now, for 2 minus x is equal to 0, x is simply equal to 2. So that is one solution. And now for ln of x equals 0, um, we're actually going to take the power of e on both sides. So if I bring it over here, we have e to the power of ln x is equal to e to the power of 0. Now, for e to the power of ln x, these two cancel out, so I simply have x is equal to e to the power of 0 is 1. So this is our second solution. So our two solutions are x equals 1 and x equals 2. And now let's go ahead and plug them into our equation. So if we first plug in 1, we get 1 to the power of 1 is equal to 1 squared. 1 to the power of 1 is 1. And 1 squared is also 1. So this is right. Now let's check x equals 2. We have 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 2. 2 squared is 4. So we have 4 is equal to 4. And this is right as well. So our two solutions are x equals 1 and x equals 2.